Can you imagine Benavidez versus Morrell at the end of this year? It's about to go back. <laughs> that would that, just put an exclamation point on an already phenomenal year for boxing, man. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNGM. Praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. We chilling on the patio, man. Matter of fact, let me go hop in this swing chair, man, so we can swing through this news that we have today. Coming out the David Morrell camp, man. The David Morrell camp has released, you know, David Morrell himself. He's talked about what he plans to do after he beats um, uh, Hot Rod Kaladzic, you know, after moving up to light heavyweight, making his light heavyweight debut on the phenomenal card of Terrence Crawford and Israel Madrimov on August 3rd, right? So, you know, his fight with, with Hot Rod Kaladzic, that fight is going to be for the vacant WBA light heavyweight title. And you're like, hold on. Light heavyweight title, how and better be Evan Bivol are supposed to be fighting for the undisputed title. Well, you know, there's that's where the super titles come in, come come into play, right? The super champions, champions, and all that stuff. You know, David Morrell, he's uh he's considered the regular WBA champion at super middleweight right now, so he's using that to uh fight for the vacant WBA regular title at light heavyweight. So I know all these titles, man, naturally it's become overwhelming. You know, it's also it's also convoluted and complicated with all these intricate details that if you're not cognizant or aware of or hip to. First of all, you throwing too many big words at me. Okay, now, because I don't understand them, I'm going to take them as disrespect. Watch your mouth. Then, you know, then it's like, I don't really know what's going on. So basically, in, in, in basic terms, you know, he's saying that he wants to fight better be than Bivol, the winner, um, and he has that right to, you know, as a WBA regular champion, even though they're fighting for the recognized belts for the undisputed. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully I break it down. I break it down in the, in the, in the live streams. If you come by, I'll break it down to you happily uh, then as well. But um, so essentially... You know, he wants to do what David Benavides is doing, right? Benavides says he wants to fight uh, the winner of Better Be Evan Bivol as well. He's a WBC interim champion, you know, which he was from super middleweight and carried over to light heavyweight, which is why he had to give up his mandatory for Canelo, you know, um, at, at, at super middleweight. So, but you're like, hold on, how are they trying to stay claim to the winner of Better Be Evan Bivol? Because they have a rematch clause, right? Right? Or do they? Check this video out. Was there a rematch clause between you and Better Be Evan? Uh, we didn't sign the options for him much. Okay. So according to Bivol, this video was what, two months ago now? Um, they never assigned the option to have a rematch, you know? So now boxing, you know, boxing, everything changes, it moves with fluidity, and you know, the fight was supposed to happen. So this is when the fight was supposed to happen months ago, but you know, better be a sustained injury. So m maybe now they have a rematch clause, you know, in this two months that transpired, but I don't think so. But however, you know, of course, like I said, this boxing, even without a rematch clause, if it's a close fight, either way, I'm pretty sure they're gonna have a rematch. Now, if it's a slaughter on um, behalf of Bivol or a slaughter on behalf of better be then I'm I'm sure that they'll be less likely to have a, a rematch clause enabled so we'll see but i i personally believe that if the fight is close which i think it, it very much well may be you know i think that they will have a rematch clause and then now to set better vides and morel to the side some more but guess what that does you know that opens up an opportunity for maybe yeah. david better and david morel to fight at light heavyweight now that'd be a fantastic fight this is all assuming that um morel beats hot rod similar to how david benavidez beat alexander vosdick on the uh tank versus frank martin card you know some months ago um now this is all hypothetical but man if that could happen that would be fire to trans if, if that could transpire and guess what david benavidez has already said hey man i know david morel has been chasing me if you want to fight me the fans want it so i'm gonna keep a man of my word i'm gonna be a man of my word and i'm, I'm gonna fight him eventually this is the perfect time to do it david morel jr is moving up to light everywhere as well there was talk of you two fighting that super middle that's, do you that's, think it's possible that's good yeah it's definitely possible the fans have been asking first so i'm gonna be a man of my word and i'm gonna give him that fight so if he's really if he's really standing on business and standing ten toes down, which I believe he is, because I like David Benavidez a lot, man. I think he's a very uh, humble dude and and, and also a, a, a beast of a fighter too, you know, as, as well as David Morrell. I think this showdown will be fire, and that way that gives them something to do in the interim, assuming that David uh, Dimitri Bivol and Arthur Berdyev will have a rematch, you know, in a close fight. And even if it's not, you know, they're not fighting till October, and so if if, if David Morrell could beat Hot Rod and whoop him like he thinks he will, uh, if he could whoop him convincingly and, and sustain minimal damage then that fight could happen shortly after the better be of the bivol clash you know maybe in maybe in november or the end of december you never know how it goes according to you know you know they got to get their contract negotiations right and make sure their teams are good and their schedules are free but man that'd be <laughs> bro that'd just add can you imagine better be this versus morale at the end of this year <laughs> that'd, that'd, that'd just put an exclamation point on an already 
phenomenal year for boxing, man. So I think that David Morrell will be Hot Rod. Um, I think Hot Rod does have some power, though. And I, and I think I know he has some power. He's a very good fighter. Um, and this is going to be a test for David Morrell. Is as big of a test as Dave Benavidez? No, I think Vazdek is a, is a, is a better fighter. Um, but, you know, there are circumstances around that, too, where where uh, Vazdek only had one loss and it came to better be it. But it was like, what, three years ago or whatever. So. You know, and Vazdik, you know, he's the one that dethroned uh, Haitian-born Canadian uh, Adonis Superman Stevenson, who sustained brain damage from his fight uh, after losing to Vazdik. Man, shout out to him, man. Hope, hopefully has a has a great recovery, but it seems like it's a chronic injury. Uh, I, I love watching Adonis Stevenson fight. But my, my point is saying that uh, Vazdik is a caliber, is, is a champion caliber fighter. Um, uh Kalazdik is good too. Hot Rod, he's good too. But I would say Vazdik is a little stiffer competition than Hot Rod, even though they're both making uh, Benavidez and Morel both making their both the Davis are making the light heavyweight debut. I think that uh, Benavidez's opponent was a little more formidable. But Hot Rod is still a a, a, a serious contender, and if David Morel's not on his A game, he could lose this fight. You know, that's what makes it so interesting. But assuming that he wins just like Benavidez won, and I think if, if David Morel could win in a uh, more impressive fashion than Benavidez, man, why not have this fight? Um, but it'll be crazy if 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 somehow uh, David David Morel beating beating uh, Kalazdik. And becoming the regular WBA champion somehow supersedes uh, David Benavidez's claim as an interim WBC champion to get the winner of Better Be Ever Bivol. Man, it's just so much drama. I feel like a lot of times it's unnecessary in boxing, but this is good, though, because this drama is all good because we got Big Turk, man, who's making these phenomenal fights happen and coming to fruition, man. So y'all let me know what y'all think about that, man. Who do you think wins between David Morrell and David Benavidez? Do you think that Morrell beats Kalazdek? I think he does. Um, do you think he beats him easily? And do you think that uh, Better Be If and Bivol should have a rematch clause or not, man? Are you kind of disappointed with that or what? I, I think they should have a rematch clause, but like I always said, too, I think Better Be If and Bivol is a 50-50 fight on paper, but I think um, inside that ring, it's going to be dominant either way. I don't know if it's going to be dominant Bivol's way or dominant Better Bivol's way. I think it's going to be similar to like Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford. Not 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 that brutal. Not that not quite that brutal. But I do think that you know on paper everybody thought Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford, no matter who you were leaning towards, it was going to be a close fight, right? But it was a dominant one-sided fight for Terrence Crawford. I think Better Bivol and Bivol will, will happen in similar fashion, where on paper it's a 50-50 fight, but in that ring, I think someone's going to be very dominant. I just I just don't know if it's Better Bivol or Bivol. If you ask me today, right now, I'm going with Bivol. If you ask me tomorrow. I'll probably lead towards better be of it's like I, I always flip flop on this one man just, and, and that's indicative of it being a great fight man so y'all let me know what y'all think about that that's it for me y'all be easy remember most importantly with god we can do anything without god we're nothing y'all be easy the doctor's out peace from the hood to college both worlds they had to meet six degrees between us so cold we're about to freeze but we're florida boys hot takes we bring the heat we're moving the culture the engineers to the streets